there's a bane among black people. I can't stand it. And I was trying my best to think about how to be calm and chill about this topic, but I just can't find it. It's just impossible. See, I'm sitting there, I've listened to a few uploaders here, I've, and I've read, I've read a Medium post by Cedra. I've listened to all I can possibly listen to from Light Skin Love. I can't take stupid anymore. I can't take it. And I try to speak in a way that's inclusive. I'll call out the dumb shit, but I also try to add a little hope. Because I do see hope. I see it. Hope is not as irrational as it seems. It's only irrational when it's clear and present that what you are hoping in, in a certain situation or dichotomy, will not come to fruition because said situation or dichotomy does not want to happen on a personal level. Nothing happens on a logical level. Nothing. And what the bane that bugs me, I can't stand these shiftless ass black people that will spout the words, I love my black brothers and sisters, while I ain't doing a goddamn thing to help they black brothers and sisters. Y'all can get mad at that. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell you the truth. For all my life so far, I've listened to these church preachers. I've listened to these street niggas. I've been listening to all these people talk about, I love my black brothers and sisters. And I listen to these YouTube assholes get up here talking about that same shit. The same shit. And then they're going to start dumping and talking stuff throwing shade all over they supposed loved black brothers and sisters talking about they ain't got no money don't get with them they ain't got no car don't get with them they ain't got no job don't get with them don't lift them up don't help them don't be that rock that they can lean on because everybody needs somebody to lean on and then they preach that you should not be that one they can lean on Everybody needs help. Everybody. But while your black brothers and sisters got ideas, dreams, aspirations, hope, all you do is look at them and say, I'll pray for you. You look at them and say, damn, you need to work harder. Damn, I wish somebody would help that person. I listened to these preachers on TV, in the church, on the street, online. Talking about they love their black brothers and sisters. We got to help each other raise up. Rise up to the challenge. And talk about how we got to work four times as harder. To achieve the simplest, smallest things. I watch. I watched as a kid. A congregation. An audience, basically. A following. Sheep. Black sheep. I listened to them. And I watched them give 10% of their weekly income. It won't buy weekly back then. It was weekly. I watched the 10s and the 20s and the 50s drop into that collection plate along with some change. And then these uppity ass nigga preachers talking about some goddamn I don't like the change. Give us some shit that fold. Fuck y'all. And fuck everybody that go with that shit. And I'm going to tell you why. Because while these preachers get all this money and the church don't seem to improve, but this motherfucker seem to live a bit better, everybody else is still suffering. And then you got those people say, well, Cedric, how you going to talk this shit? You know these preachers go out there and they made, they made great strides and they, they help feed the homeless and stuff. Man, that's some old simple bullshit. When you make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And all you do is give some, some $50 to $70 to some goddamn canned goods to people without giving them a home. Shit, you give somebody $100,000, I mean, you could pop up a good apartment. If you're making millions like some of these mega churches are doing, you could build communities. They could be self-sustained. They could work and help support themselves. 
these preachers give a band-aid and all these black people out here that's in need they are in desperate honest need I don't care how well they look like they living they are in need because if they weren't in need they wouldn't be struggling so hard they need help with kids but who they gonna turn to who they gonna turn to you the one listening they gonna turn to you who they gonna turn to that motherfucker down the street they need a babysitter who they gonna turn to huh Anything they listen to about raising a kid, taking care of a kid, or whatnot, you know what's, you know what's on the face of that shit? White people. White people in their holier than thou talk. Well, you just have to do this with the child. The child is in need of this. Maybe your child can. Not all that shit work on every kid. Every kid is different. Damn the color of their skin. All kids are different to an extent. They all fall in groups. And they all have somewhat the same reaction because usually sometimes a kid that's acting up is a kid in pain. And at the same time, a kid acting up ain't a kid in pain. It's just a kid trying to enjoy what they're doing and they don't want to be ridiculed for enjoying what they're doing no matter who they hurt. And you got to know how to deal with that shit. Who am I going to turn to? You? I'm going to turn to the preacher? Let God... Summon down his spirit and help your child because only God can actually do something about it. Give your child to the Lord and then the Lord will give that child everything that that child needs to make it. Give it to him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking God ain't giving a goddamn thing. The fucker got to exist to have to do anything. Just like these motherfuckers that talk about they loving their black brothers and sisters got to actually show that they love their black brothers and sisters. I, Cedric, have no problem. When somebody is so, showing me something, I look at something, I watch them. And you know what I do? I do what I can. I do what I can. I, can, I ain't got shit. I don't. Everything around me, it took damn near 30 years to get all this shit. 30 years old stuff in here. 30, 20, 15 years old stuff. Hand me down some of it. I mean, that <laughs> refurbished, hand me down, and hope for the best. Keep working with what you got no matter how broke down it get. That's what's around me. And also what's around me are all of you. You ain't got to be in my physical presence. You are right there. You are right fucking there. And I don't have anything. But when somebody, when I'm, on, when I'm on, on the street and I'm sitting there buying groceries and whatnot, and I come out and there's people living in their car and they asking for some food or some toiletries, I go get it for them. I don't care if it was my last $20. I'm all right. For the most part, I'm all right. These people living out of a car. That's empathy. And if I had that church level tax exempt money handed socially down from the people that come in and listen to get the word, to get the Lord's word that day. If I was able to have that kind of money, I would prop that person up somewhere and say, oh, I hope you get a job. I can get you in this home. I can get you, you know, they already got the car. He got the transportation. He's got a place to put. He got a place to put the stuff. He's got his wife with him. He's with that woman strong. And he's strong. Because no matter who or what is the reason for them being in that car, they stayed together. Opposed to these weak motherfuckers out here that divorce over some stupid financial shit. Oh, you lost your job. I ain't happy with the way we're living. I'm leaving you. Fuck you, weak people. I don't give a fuck if you're a man, woman, or what. Weak motherfuckers. You talk about helping and loving. Ain't doing a goddamn thing. I've helped motherfuckers way more than you have. And I ain't got shit. I mean, I'm just saying. This is on this channel, I vent. And I point, I'll do my point of view. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But I say, God damn it. Stop being a shiftless ass motherfucker and do something. Do something. Somebody subscribe to me. They like what I do for some reason. 
cool. I'm appreciative of that. I am absolutely appreciative of that shit. And I try to show it. That's why I say thank you for listening. Because I am appreciative that somebody's listening to me. And you know what I do when they subscribe? I go check them out. I see what's going on with their channel. Uh, some 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 uh, girl named Remy subscribed. I checked her channel. I said, uh, you know, I, I, I comment on a couple of videos. She's making sense. You know, enough sense. I, I, I have to weed out some things. I got to get my ears attuned to it. But I'm doing my best to listen. And I'm kind of liking her message, her meaning. And if she, you know, she's going to put out more content. I asked her if she's going to put out more content. And if she do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to subscribe. And if we can get a chat going back and forth or something, you know what? Then I might say go check her out. But I'm not saying it now. Because I don't know. I don't want to just throw that shit down. I ain't going to fuck up like I did already. Fuck that shit. I already advocated somebody and they turned out to be nothing but hate. Hate. Fuck hate. I'm tired of hate. Hate is stupid. And these people that say they love their black brothers and sisters that talk about they're going to help them and, and, and they, they need to rise up. But they ain't going to do shit except doubt everything. Your son, your nephew, and your friend. Your friend's son or nephew. The stranger motherfucker down the road. That person walking by with a dream, with a hope. Man, if I had this, I could do that. And all you can throw at them is, oh, that's hard. That's difficult. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think that's possible. Well, do you have the manpower to get that done? Motherfucker, help them find it. If you know people, help them. No one can rise up on their own. Nobody. It is legitimately impossible. There is no possibility of anyone rising up on their own. Because everybody needs somebody. They do. You do. My YouTube channel, you know why I have more than one subscriber? Because more than one person did it. It ain't like I just conjured motherfuckers up. They are here. They're subscribed. And I'm thankful of that shit. I appreciate it every fucking time I get a new subscriber. I appreciate it. I got a new subscriber, man. That's cool. That's usually what I say out loud. They see, I just got a new subscriber. I wait for comments. I see the comment. Who's this person? Let me check them out. What's so hard about that? These people get on YouTube because they also want to make money. They want to make a life somehow. Some people trying to get up out the gutter. That was my whole point of YouTube. Hell, it wasn't even to get out of that. It was just to make enough money to get an RPG tabletop game off the ground. That was the whole my point of YouTube for me. I wasn't even trying to make millions or none of that shit. I wasn't trying to be the most famous person out there. No. I just wanted enough to get my game going. That's it. But I don't have the information. I don't know what the fuck to do next. And my game is pretty much complete. And when I've asked for help from black people, you know what I got? I don't know, man. I'm trying to get stuff done myself. Man, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that kind of game. Maybe, maybe I ought to talk to somebody that do. What well, motherfucker do you know somebody? It's shit like this. You tell me how hard it is, but you won't help me render... The softness of it to make it plausible. Everyone can fulfill a dream so long as they got the support and the help. And all black people doing, all black people, I don't give a fuck if you light, I don't care if you dark, too damn dark, or too damn light. Black people only good right now until change only good at talking that shit being divided blaming the white man blaming the dark skinned black man blaming the light skinned black man blaming the white woman and not one time will the motherfucker shut the fuck up and say wait a minute what can I actually do that would help how can I help let me think how I can help who do I know what do I know? Okay, maybe there's a place, a place online. Maybe something's going to tell them online. And, you, and, and I'm going to tell you how fucking stupid most people are. When somebody asks for your help, you say, I'll just look online. That's what I do. Why don't you just say, I'm going to look online. You look too. 
will look together. You know, that shit that the absolute epitome of the word help. That's what I'm talking about. I just can't be fucking nice about this shit anymore. These people are fucking goddamn stupid. I mean, you want to you want to you want to go to church and pray and hope that shit's going to change? Motherfuckers been praying for the past 600 years. And it wasn't even that, really. They had to get beat in the prayer. And then accept prayer. And then say prayer was natural. And then say that's the only thing that's going to ever make it. And it ain't made shit. If prayer worked, we wouldn't have needed civil rights. If prayer worked, Martin Luther King wouldn't have been shot. If prayer worked, Martin Luther King wouldn't have even been needed. If prayer worked, we wouldn't be praying. Just think about the fucking logic of that. If cutting down your fellow black man would help, then we'd all be goddamn billionaires. Now, wouldn't we? And while I cut you motherfuckers up, I'm not cutting you down. I just want to get into the salad and make it palatable so you can go out and do something. Somebody get some dressing because we all need some help. That's really all it is. Help. Help that person next to you. Help that person across from you. Help that person across seeds from you with just some kind words and a little assistance. Stop this goddamn cycle of you can't do it. It's too hard. I'm not interested, so I'm not going to do anything. You ain't making a lot of money off of it, so I'm not going to help you make a little money off of it. Stop this stupid goddamn cycle and rise up like a decent fucking human being. That's what I'll ask. I think you can do it. You just have to be told that you can do it. And if shunning some shiftless bullshit is what it's going to take, because that seems to be all humans really give a shit to listen to, is if somebody jump down your goddamn throat and shun you for all the stupid shit you do, then you become afraid to do it, but then you want to do it because you think others don't want you to do it. And they shouldn't want you to be a dumb motherfucker. Nobody should advocate you to be stupid. Help others so they can help you. We did have one. We had Tulsa, Oklahoma. Research that shit. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Research it. Black owned, black loved, black rising, black sustained. And it was all destroyed for two people that didn't like black people. In general, didn't like black people. It didn't matter how high yellow, how red bone, light skin, light brown, khaki, brown, slightly dark brown, dark brown, very dark brown, swarthy, black, jet black, damn near purple, damn near green. Yes, I've seen those two tones. They didn't matter. Tulsa, Oklahoma burned. People were murdered. Because two people didn't like to see black people make it. And right now, the way it is, right now, until you change, every last one of you are those two people that didn't want to see some black people make it. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.